Ladies and gentlemen, friends, Louis, cher ami, on behalf of all the members of the board of directors of our company, today represented by Mr. Burgenio and Horacio Esposito, and uh, with the presence of the national governmental authority of horse racing, Mr. Javier Cha, I would like to give you the warmest welcome to Uruguay and to our hippodrome in Maronias. Maronias, this site where we are today, has been running races since 1889. I think that horse racing is probably one of the most important cultural expressions of this country. We are known for soccer, but probably soccer and horse racing uh, were part with tango of our national character. <laughs> and here we are, you know, um, this country uh, since 18, 1889 really did a good horse racing activity, was renowned worldwide. We were better than our neighbors in Buenos Aires at some times. And uh, uh, unfortunately, in the 90s, in the year of the 90s, the, uh, the governing entity of horse racing in the country was, was not able really to overcome the, the challenges to this industry, challenges that are present not only in Uruguay but in other, in other countries as well. We know how difficult it is to keep this, this sport alive in, in some areas, particularly in a small country like ours. And in 2003, with a government uh, which was really uh, the president of the republic at that time, Mr. Jorge Valle, who, who was really part of our racing tribe, promoted very successfully a, a bid where, uh, following the model of Racino, was able to really give a burst of oxygen to our horse racing activity and make this colorful show again alive with all the passion and all the heartbreaking emotion of the races. And then horse racing was back. And there is where our company came in. Not only with this emotion of the sport, but also generating enormous opportunities, labor and jobs, for a lot of humble Uruguayans that make of this activity their daily bread. It is about probably 1,100 jobs that are depending on this activity, and probably about 45,000 families in one way or other make their living out of horse racing in this very small country of three million persons. And the good thing is that after 2003, after this, uh, impulse by this president who unfortunately unfortunately he's not here with us today because he suffered a serious health accident two days ago uh, and and he's fighting for his life but once this happened the successive governments and successive administrations and terms made of horse racing also uh, actively a national policy mr. Javier Chahu is as I said with us today was renovated in his mandate as director, as authority of horse racing, and uh, really gave a, a lot of support to this industry. Uh, by the way, embedding in the law the policy of supporting horse racing as part of the legal framework of the country, and promoting other scenarios in, in Uruguay, in, in the countryside. Since 2003, we made a, a long way, a long way, uh, investment poured, this hypodrome which was really devastated and ruined flourished again. We took over a second horse track in Las Piedras. Our horse racing, our, 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 our races were exported and uh, obtained international recognition and interest through, uh, in France, through LARC and other channels. And, uh, and finally, we achieved again the possibility that our races were included in part one of the Blue Book of IFA, which was really an important milestone for all of us here. But of course, things never end. We always go for more. 
You can see that our horse track is being renovated. We are planning to inaugurate a new turf horse racing course for the Longines uh, Latin American Cup in 2018. This year, 2016, will probably be the one with more investment in this horse track since the re-inauguration in 2003. And we move forward. We move forward. Uh, going to the matter that brings us all together here, uh, we have decided for 2017 that all our stakes races will carry their anti-doping procedures in certified IFA laboratories for next year, something we are very proud of. We want to continue leading in this matter in South America. We want to overcome the problems and the issues that we know that affect us within our resources. We have also introduced anti-doping testing for our jockeys to make this sport safer. And I want to make an announcement of which I am very proud as member of this management team. Last Thursday, our veterinarian department obtained from an independent entity the certification that all our anti-doping and veterinarian procedures are accredited by ISO 9000 uh, rules. We are very proud of that. And I would like to congratulate all our people for that hard effort. I hope we can continue like this in the future. But well, the first thing and the most important thing, enjoy a day at the races. Our people are identified around the horse track with iCrab uh, jackets to show you around if you want. Enjoy Uruguay. I hope you have a good time in Punta del Este and come back again with your families if they are not here today. And, uh, and thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you uh, for the, the, the organizing committee. Uh, thank you very much for the distinction and the honor. We are delighted that you have chosen Uruguay as host of this most important event. We are very thankful and grateful for the support given by OSAF to this event, and of course by IFA, by our uh, good friend who, with his presence, Louis, uh, a new token of your friendship towards horse racing in this country, being here today, I guess, probably for the sixth time, which is a inverse proportion to the importance of horse racing in the world. <laughs> I hope they don't claim you to go at the same proportion to all the horse tracks around the globe. And, uh, and of course, to the people that work so hard for, for this event. I only want to say thank you again, and be sure that Maronias, HRU, and Las Piedras are committed in the efforts of all of you veterinarians and racing analysts to commit ourselves to the highest standards of integrity welfare for the horses, and safety for our equestrian sports. Thank you very much, and enjoy the meal.